Some, uh, we can see some proper shapes down as well, all the way around here. Some of the Baza columns uh, almost look like uh, stepping stones. It's going to be over 60 feet. and welcome to Air Rider. My name is Ben. Thank you very much for joining me on today's episode of Sees Us at Giants Causeway. So what we're going to see today is we're going to see geological features. Uh, we're going to learn a bit about a, a bit of history or geology about the area. We're going to see the Giants Gate. We're going to see the basil columns. We're going to see the organ as well, which is in the mountainside. And then we're also going to see the chimney, uh, uh, the chimneys as well. And there's a, we're also going to learn about the legend of Finn McCool and obviously the connection with uh, Scotland. In relation to the area so i'm super excited to tell you all about that uh guys thanks so much for watching um if you enjoy the content please don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and leave a comment down below as well but uh we're going to crack on with that right up at the top here so we can see everything uh, just down here so i'm really looking forward to showing it to you we're going to start back down that side so this is how we got to that location there and i'll see you guys shortly That's the visitor centre, we've just taken the walk, so effectively this is a, a free um, excursion. So I'll include that in my, in my uh, uh, location, uh, my free locations in Ireland uh, playlist. But the wind down here is actually nice and quiet, um, there's not much wind. Might, might be a lot different once we're around the corner though. I'm not sure if you can see at this particular angle, but there's a, just to the top left there, there's some, uh, looks like chimneys. And uh, they say if smoke rises from the chimneys, uh, McCool, uh, Finn McCool is home. Uh, Finn McCool is a uh, uh, Irish uh, mythical legend. And uh, that's what that is in uh, reference to, if you see smoke arising from the chimneys. One thing to note about the basalt formations are just around this right hand side here. So um, when we look at the rocks around here, just around the right is specifically where those basalt uh, formations are. So just keep an eye on the actual rocks here and the, and the shapes, because it's all going to change once we're uh, down that side over there. Right, we're just in an area here where we can start to see the hexagonal uh, shapes starting to take place. Um, if we look a bit closer, you can see it here, the kind of shapes are starting to, starting to change. And then on this round, there's a good example of one there. One thing you need to, need to watch out for the step is the rocks are very uneven, so it's probably one thing. You can't walk straight and try and hold the camera at the same time, because uh, you're probably just going to end up falling and, and that accident's bound to happen. So. Um, like I was saying, about 50, 60 million years ago, volcanic activity created this whole area. Now, what's interesting is, and just through observations, if you look at where we've just come from there, you don't see any of these sort of shapes over here. Um, so you can just imagine the immense pressure and the volcanic activity here that has uh, done to create these sort of pillars. And we're going to go a bit further down. We're going to see and have a look. There's a couple of columns as well, which are very interesting. They've got particular names, but we'll definitely check those out. Uh, but um, let's keep on walking. Right, that's what I'm talking about. So you've got the, the columns, it's starting to, you can start to see some of the columns coming through. Also, we've got some different color variations. Some are black, 
um, obviously some are normal are brown as well and then of course we still have normal kind of rocks on top of them how are you doing everyone uh, right so we're here uh, we're going to keep going shortly so the extent of the basalt uh, columns extend all the way through to scotland as well and if you look up fingal's cave it's actually named after that uh, mythical character um finn mccool and uh the causeway effectively extends all the way to that section there where you, <clears throat> excuse me where you can see those uh, basalt um, columns coming through uh real fascinating but let's uh, keep going see some uh, we can see some proper shapes now as well all the way around here right uh, in 1986 uh, this entire site became a world heritage site um, and uh, sort of the the numbers that were recorded visitors per year in 2019 were uh, just under a million visitors came and visited this location so it's a very special place it was once um, if I remember correctly I think in 2005 um, it stated that it was uh, one in the top 10 places or wonders of the world to come and see. So I'm not surprised that there are a lot of people around. Uh, but a really fabulous place. Be sure to check it out if you're in the uh, area or if you're headed to Northern Ireland. It's definitely one of the top uh, destinations to come and visit. Some of the Baza columns uh, almost look like uh, stepping stones. You can see here they've uh, sort of blackened them. That's probably from uh, the sea. And you can see that different colour variation. That looks pretty cool. Right, we're going to head up over the top now and we're going to keep on looking. How you doing everyone right first of all uh, we've got the organ pipes here i don't know if you can i'm going to try and get a bit closer uh, but they're that sort of structure that comes out of the mountainside they call that the organ pipes um, the legend apparently of the whole place is that there was a uh, scottish giant by the name of finn mccool apparently came here and he he's the one that created giant's causeway uh, by effectively stamping his way all the way across to scotland uh, to challenge a, a rival so almost like i suppose taking a shortcut maybe but uh, that's the the Irish folklore in relation to Finn McCool who created Giants, Giants Causeway. So never mind that it's uh, a geological feature, but Finn McCool, the big giant, he's the one who created all of this. Uh, what we're going to see next is uh, we're going to go through the Giants Gate uh, and then I'm going to show you some of the columns on this side as well. Thanks for watching everyone and uh, enjoy. Okay, so this area here is known as the Giants Gate. And it's these basil columns on the left and the right. And uh, Finn McCool probably would have walked through there. Right, so just behind me here are the basil columns I'm, uh, that uh, Giant's Causeway is famous for. So obviously when they were created, you had a lot of pressure, volcanic activity in the area, pushing everything up. Then you've got cooling and you've got these hexagonal shaped columns pushing all the way up and uh, it just looks absolutely fantastic. Take a look for yourself. So you can see everything is going straight up. And they all appear to be in a hexagonal uh, shape. The amount of, uh, they reckon that the amount of uh, the basalt uh, stones, there's about 40,000 uh, stones in this area here, which is pretty substantial. How are we doing everyone? Uh, we're just going to be heading up uh, the slope here. Do a bit of a hike up the mountain here and hopefully try and have a proper look at the uh, organs there. Up uh, on the side of the mountain. So we're going to head up just over there. Hopefully we'll be we're making our way up to the organ area up there. But uh, have a look at that. <laughs> But, but uh, just, just fantastic.
just down there you had the giant skate near the uh, columns just around the corner on that side there is the chimneys. Right, we're coming up to the uh, organ uh, columns and I tell you what they're super impressive nice here we go That's got to be over 60 foot. Big towering things. Right, so we've just seen the uh, the organ, and we're going to head up uh, to go and have a look at the chimney uh, the chimney stacks. It's funny how they call it chimney stacks. This is a stack of basil columns uh, or basil stones. So uh, yeah, we're going to go and have a look at the chimneys now, and they're going to work our way up the mountain. There's a pathway that goes all the way just up there and uh, we're going to finish off but um, fa a fascinating place as I said 1986 UNESCO World Heritage Site the legend of Finn McCool uh, the volcanic activity here what 50 60 million years ago that created those uh, basil stones um, really remarkable and then the fact that you can see them on the other side of the bay in Fingal's Cave in Scotland as well just uh, just makes it even more special but i uh, hope you're enjoying the video so far if you are give me a thumbs up comment down below and don't forget to subscribe as well and make sure your notification bells are on doing everybody uh, we can see the chimney stack is right there or the chimney so like I said if it's uh, if it's smoking it means McCall is home so uh, just take it in we've got the basil formations that go all the way up the mountain and all the way across as well um, I hope you're having a good time so they blocked us off at the moment because of rock falls and it probably uh, looking at this is probably close for some time looks like that's probably where the rock fall was is just over there you can see it obviously goes round and it just looks fabulous really stunning up the reason why i wanted to start it there was you actually get a better view uh, from that angle uh, something you can spot from here is Malin head which is the northernmost point of ireland and it's on that other side of the bay there what is starting to come in if you can see the contrast of uh, the color of the ocean here and then just behind you got this white layer that is all rain that's coming down and it's going to hit us shortly so uh, we're going to get going we're going to start working away along this line here and we're going to head up to the top how are we doing everyone uh, just heading up uh, we're going to head up to the top here now we're going to work our way around so what we have is we've got a pathway and it looks like there's probably stairs up there i would think um, and it's the first time i've been up in this section here so it'll be interesting to see uh, what the story is, but um, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. It was fantastic seeing the chimney So what we've seen here is we've seen the organ the chimney We've seen the Giants Gate and we've seen majority of the columns as well And we've learned a bit of the history of the geology of the place. So delighted you could uh, come along and uh, Looks like there's a bit of a bottleneck up there and uh, the rain is starting to come in so I'll chat to you shortly Love that sort of lovely fresh sea air. <coughs> Jeez. <laughs> there's, a, there's a terrible smell of like, I don't know, rotten seaweed or something in the air, but which at higher altitudes you don't really smell, but at lower altitudes you do. So uh, now it smells kind of okay. Doesn't smell as bad as it did before. But uh, wow, what a fabulous spot. I'm super delighted to, to have actually the camera along as well we sort of avoided the rain for now but uh, yeah it's been fabulous 
There's the stairway. What are we going to head up there? Just on the right, so we got the stairs going up there. steps up. How you doing everyone? Just made it to the top of the stairs here. Uh, we're going to end the video here now because uh, we've got to go back to the car park. This is effectively just a pathway that leads to the back of the car park. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. We've had a fabulous time here at Giants Causeway. I hope you had, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the time too. Please like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell if you're enjoying the content and you're looking forward to more. What we've seen today here in Giants Causeway, we saw basalt columns, we learned a bit of history we, uh, we learned about Finn McCall, we spoke about uh, the uh, the extent of the basal columns even in Scotland and uh, we saw the um, Giants, uh, Giants Gate, we see the organs just here as well which was fantastic and then we've also seen the chimney, uh, the chimney is just around the corner so I uh, hope you've enjoyed the, the, uh, the experience and uh, I'll see you all in the next video, bye for now.